In this video, we're going to look at using the normal distribution to estimate the binomial distribution. So if we've got a variable x, which is distributed binomially with n bits of data and a probability of each one being a success of p, we can use the normal distribution to estimate the binomial distribution and that approximation is going to be better when n is large and when p is close to 0 0.5. So the larger n, so the more bits of data there are, and the closer the probability is to half, the better that approximation is going to be. And this is given to us in the formula book. So when we're using the normal distribution, the mean is NP. So the mean is NP and the variance is NP times 1 minus P. So in order to do the normal approximation of the binomial distribution, we use the mean and the variance that are given to us in the formula book. Okay, so here we've got a question. We've got a variable X, variable X distributed binomially there are 40 bits of data and the probability of success is 0 0.42 the question says use the normal distribution to calculate an approximation for the probability that x is less than 15 so we've got our we're going to use the mean of n times p so 40 times 0 0.42 and we're going to use the variance of n times p times 1 minus p so 40 times 0 0.42 times 0 0.58 and that means the standard deviation which is square root variance is going to be the square root of 40 times 0 0.42 times 0 0.58. We also need to bear in mind that the normal distribution is continuous and the binomial distribution is discrete. So we need to make a correction for that, a continuity correction. So that means we're using the bounds. So if we're looking at 15, we're going to say the upper bound is 15.5 and the lower bound is 14.5. So for 15, that goes all the way from 14.5 up to 15.5. So when we're looking at the probability of less than 15, we want less than 14.5. So we're going to be using an X value of 14.5 for the normal approximation. So now we're ready to pick up the calculator. So we want menu number seven and we're using the normal cumulative distribution, so number two. So we want everything up to 14.5. So the lower, we're going to put in a really small number. So if we put in minus 100, we're going to go up to 14.5. Our standard deviation is square root 40 times 0 0.42 times 0 0.58 and the mean is 40 times 0 0.42 so we get our probability out of 0 0.231 to three significant figures Zero point two three one to three significant figures and we'll store 
the number in the calculator to use later, so store A. Part B, use the binomial distribution to find the probability that X is less than 15. So for the binomial distribution, we've got our, we want to go with less than 15. So that means we're going up to 14. We don't want to include 15, so we want to go up to 14. We know N is 40 and P is 0 0.42. So we're going to get the calculator again. Menu 7, go down to the binomial cumulative distribution this time. 2 for variable. So X is 14, everything up to and including 14. N is 40. P is 0 0.42. So we've got a probability of 0 0.232 this time to three significant figures. And we should store that as B. Part C, calculate the percentage error in the approximation found in part A. So percentage error is how far we're out, so the change over the original, out, over what it should have been, times 100. So the difference between the two answers over what it should have been times 100. So we're going to use the exact numbers, but it's our 0 0.232 minus our 0 0.231 over 0 0.232 times 100. So B minus A over B times 100. So menu 1 again, back to the normal mode, and it's B minus A over B times 100. So that's a percentage error of 0.623%. So 0.62% to two decimal places. Okay, here we've got another question. You can pause the video, give it a go if you like, or just carry on watching. So we've got a variable X distributed binomially. There are 80 bits of data this time, and the probability is 0 0.56. So for our normal approximation, the mean is going to be N times P, 80 times 0 0.56. The variance is n times p times 1 minus p. And the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Okay, we need to do our continuity correction. So we want bigger than 40 this time. So we've got our upper bound of 40.5, our lower bound of 39.5. So we want bigger than 40, so we want bigger than the upper bound. So bigger than the upper bound. So it's got the mean in the middle. I don't know where 40.5 goes and let's say it's slightly on this side so we've got 40.5 here we want everything bigger than 40.5 so we're ready to pick up the calculator and type the data type the numbers in 
So menu seven again, normal cumulative distribution. And our lowest point is 40.5. We're going all the way up to a massive number, put a thousand. Standard deviation is the square root of 80 times 0 0.56 times 0 0.44 and the mean is 80 times 0 0.56 so we will press equals and we get our probability of 0 0.834 to three significant figures and I'll store it as a so 0 0.834. Okay, part B, use the binomial distribution to find the probability that X is bigger than 40. So we're going to use, so we want bigger than 40. We're going to work out everything up to and including 40, and then we'll do one minus that. So we'll use x of 40, n is 80, p is 0 0.56. So we're going to work out everything up to and including 40, and then we'll do one minus the answer. So let's pick up the calculator again. Menu 7. Binomial cumulative distribution this time, variable. So we're going to use x as 40, n as 80, p as 0 0.56. So we've got 0 0.166, but we don't want that. We want 1 minus that. So 1 minus 0 0.166. Six. So menu number one, one minus answer, which is 0 0.834. And we'll store that as B. So the answer is the same to three significant figures, but calculate the percentage error found in part A. So percentage error is going to be the change over the original times 100. So it's going to be our 0 0.834. We're going to use the whole number minus our other 0 0.834. over 0 0.834, this makes no sense, times 100. So it's one of our answers, take away the other answer, over, so this is A, this is B, we're going to do the difference between them over what it should have been, which is B times 100. So B minus A over B times 100. So that's 7.18 times 10 to the power of minus 3% to three significant figures. So that's 0.00718%.